working problems that involve conversions, it can be difficult when you get these on a test where you've been working higher objective problems and then you go back to the first objective to remember what to do. So spending a moment on that, when you have a problem such as number one, which is asking for a conversion between three tablespoons and milliliters, what is needed for a ratio and proportion problem is to know the conversion of tablespoons and milliliters. So in order to say how many three are, you must know the value of one. So if I know one tablespoon is the same thing as 15 milliliters, then I can easily set up my problem to say how many milliliters are three if I know the value of one. Once I set this up, as long as my labels match, I'm good to go. To cross multiply, I multiply with x first. So one times x is one x, and three times 15 is 45. To get x by itself, we divide what's in front. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So x equals 45. But it would be easy to get this problem wrong at this point, and I could easily put the wrong label. So just do a quick visual and say I was solving for milliliters when I answered x. Because I know x is equal to this number, then the label for that number is what we were solving for.